before you start selling in the morning, as a business person, as a worker, anything is business. Whether you buy and sell, whether you are a caterer, a makeup artist, a fashion designer, whatever you do, whatever you do and expect payment is a business. So if you want growth in your business, this is for financial blessing. That is for those who are doing something. If you are not doing anything and you want wealth, this will not work for you. You need to do something. You need to be hard working. You need to put in effort and do this for breakthrough, for success. You will be fruitful in the name of Jesus. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you have not. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. May God bless you. Turn on the bell so that you will always get notification. I come here to pray with you every day and go on live every week. Once in a week. No precise time. But if your belly is turned on, you will get to know this. Miracles are coming testimonies. You will be the next to testify in the name of Jesus. So if you need blessing from God, if you want doors of favor, if you want to start receiving help, this video is for those that want to start receiving help. People that want favor to come to their life. You want God to send you your helpers. See, you cannot do it on your own. You need divine help and you don't need to go to them begging them to help you because they will look down on you instead of begging instead of borrowing why not go on your knees and beg god to forgive you and beg god to send you helpers when you have divine helpers you don't need to beg they will help you and bless you they will help you and bless you everything will work out for your good. Know this. Everything will work out for your good. So first of all, get your Bible and open to number 6 verse 25. Number 6 verse 25. The Lord will make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord will make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. So you are going to personalize this. Use I. This is how to pray with the scripture. You claim it to yourself. The Lord will make his face shine on me and be gracious to me. So when the face of the Lord begins to shine on you, begins to shine on your business, begins to shine on your effort, that means there will always be favor. You will no longer experience stagnation. You will no longer experience delay. You will no longer experience backwardness. The reason why many of you, things are not working well for you. You are not growing. You are not succeeding. You put in effort. You work hard, yet you are still wretched. You are still poor. You are still suffering is because you don't have the light of God in your life. And when you don't have the light of God, darkness will come in. What is darkness? Darkness is failure. Darkness is stagnation. Darkness is retrogression. So from now on, if you want your effort to be fruitful, you want your effort to pay off, you want things to start working out for you, you want to grow speedily, you are going to repeat this, repeat this seven times. Immediately you wake up every morning before you go out. When you wake up in the morning, normally you are going to thank God for giving you a new day. It is not easy to be alive. It is not easy to be awake. You are not dead. You are not in the mortuary. You are not in the cemetery. You are alive. So you are going to thank God for that new day. And read this powerful Bible passage. 
Numbers 6, verse 25. And proclaim it to yourself. O oh Lord, make your face shine upon me today. Be it Monday. Call out the day. In the name of Jesus, O oh Lord, make your face shine upon me today. Be it Thursday. In the name of Jesus, O oh Lord, be gracious to me. In the name of Jesus, one. O oh Lord, let your face shine upon me today. Be it Wednesday. In the name of Jesus, and be gracious to me. In the name of Jesus, amen. Say this seven times. And begin your prayer. O oh Lord, as I'm going out to hustle for my daily bread, let your face shine upon me. Let your favor shine upon me. O oh Lord, be gracious to me. When you are asking God to be gracious, you want the grace of God. When you have the grace of God, you will begin to receive favor. You will begin to succeed. You will begin to see open doors, all merited favor. All of those good things that you don't deserve, you will begin to get. At times, you see some people. They are not even educated, but they are making money. You see some people, they are not even fine or educated, but they are married to rich people, to successful people. They are living fine. You see them attaining a level of miracle they don't deserve. That is grace. When you have the grace of God in your life, you can even get a good job without interview, without being assessed. You will stand in the presence of great people. You will make it even without putting in great effort. You are not so hard working, but you are successful. The grace of God removes suffering and hardship. When you see some people, they walk and walk and walk and sweat. They suffer. They are struggling. And yet, they are still begging. They are still borrowing. They are not even living comfortably. Why you see other people? Only little effort. They are making millions. They are making lots of money. That is the grace of the Lord. You make money without stress. Child of God, I pray to you. Receive the grace of God in your life. In the name of Jesus, receive the grace of God that will change your story. In that your business, receive the grace of God. In the name of Jesus, the light of God will shine into your business, into your job. You will receive patronage. In the name of Jesus, you will grow beyond your equal. In the name of Jesus. Business nowadays is competition. You will beat every competition in the name of Jesus. You will grow beyond your equal in the name of Jesus. The grace of God will take you to great places. The grace of God will open great doors for you. In the name of Jesus, everything around you will begin to work out for your good from now on. In the name of Jesus, O oh Lord, Cause your light to shine upon us. Oh Lord, cause your face to shine upon us. Oh Lord, cause your face to shine upon my effort, my labor, my business, my job, my family, my life. When the face of God shines upon your life, you will never struggle again. You will never be disappointed again. You will never be rejected again. Because when they see you, they see the light of God. Everybody will want to help you. They will want to favor you. You will see doors opening, doors of favor. Money will be coming. You will get your heart desire. So pray with this. When you prophesy that seven times, Oh Lord, let your face shine upon me. State out your request. In this my heart desire, Oh Lord, let your face shine upon me. Let your face shine upon my business. Let your grace be upon my life. Let my business begin to grow. In the name of Jesus, I receive the grace of God upon my business. I receive the grace of God upon my business. Let your grace bring me loss of customer. Let your grace bring me loss of helpers. Let your grace open closed door in my life. In the name of Jesus, I receive my blessing. I receive my miracle. Begin to call out your heart desire. 
And with the grace of the Lord, you will begin to grow. See, when the face of the Lord shines upon you, you receive light. Everything darkness leaves you. You will start receiving favor. Are you looking for a job? Receive the grace of the Lord. The face of the Lord will shine upon you. Whatever you are looking for, the grace of the Lord will give you speedy answer in the name of Jesus. Always pray for the grace of the Lord, for the face of the Lord to shine upon you. When the face of the Lord shines upon you, every difficulty will be removed. Every evil seed, every evil projection in your life, whatever evil they have done, the face of the Lord will shine and remove everything negative from your life. And you will receive all-round favor in the name of Jesus. So pray with this powerful Bible passage, number 6, verse 25. Very powerful. It always work. And prophesy it to yourself several times. Tell God in that your situation to let His grace and face shine upon you. And you will never remain the same. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you have not. Give this video a thumbs up and share with your friends. I will see you again.